Black Swan Business Setup Services LLC. Learn how you can set up a mainland LLC company in Dubai. Hello, this is Rupa from Black Swan Business Setup Services. And today we're going to tell you how you can set up a mainland LLC company in Dubai. To set up a mainland company, the documents that we need is your passport copy. If there's more than one partner, then passport copy of all the partners. Your visit visa page copy or if you have entry stamp on your passport, so the copy of that entry stamp page. Now to tell you the steps, there are five simple steps. First of all, we will need minimum three trade names to book your trade name or get your the approval for your trade name that you've decided for your business. Once the trade name is decided, we take initial approval with your passport copy and the local's passport copy. Then we get the memorandum and article of association drafted which has to be uh, translated in Arabic and notarized in the court. Once the court signing is done, where the sponsor and the, all the owners of the company has to be present uh, to sign it, or maybe somebody who has a power of attorney can also sign on their behalf in the court. After that, uh, you need to set, we need to set a rent an office, uh, whether it is a retail space or a warehouse, or it can be an office. And nowadays there are virtual offices also available. So depending on the requirement of your business, we can take a space for your company and we can get the tenancy contract signed and get an HRE from the land department for that space. Once we have the HRE on hand, we can issue your license voucher from DED. And once the license voucher is issued, we will pay the amount and get the license issued. Once your license is issued, you are ready to trade and you can go ahead with your bank account opening. There are some other documents also which you need. Number one is establishment card, uh, which you need to get your visas done. And in case you are also planning to recruit employees, you will also have to get a labor card from the labor department. So initial approval, trade name approval, uh, your tenancy or a jari, uh, your license, establishment card and labor card. So these are these things which you need to remember. I want to show you, this is how your trade name certificate will look, initial trade name certificate. And then uh, this is how your initial approval paper will look. And then this is how your license voucher will look where all the things will be there and the total amount that how much you need to pay for the license. This is your memorandum of association with all the articles which you and the local sponsor will be signing. Um, I think it has various pages. And this is finally your license copy. In the license copy, you will have the business name, the date of issuance, uh, the number of partners and the local sponsor's name and the uh, shareholding structure. These things will be mentioned on your license. And I would just like to also show you that this is how the establishment card looks, which you will get for your company. And mostly labor card is like a number which you will get and which you can use while you are applying visas for your staffs in, in, in labor. Now, this is a simple procedure. The cost is uh, like approx for trade name and initial approval. It's approx 975. And now uh, the government has waived the court fee and it is directly happening through DED, Dubai Economic Department. Uh, so including your license and uh, other formalities, the voucher cost generally comes to approx 10 to 12,000 uh, where there are a lot of other factors like if you have taken an English name or any foreign language trade name, then uh, you are paying 2,000 extra on the license and 2.5% uh, uh, of the space that you have taken. So 2.5% of the rent will be added in the license voucher. So there are a lot of extra X and Y factors, but then still um, just to give you an estimate for a normal trading company or a software company or a consultancy company, the average cost is approx um, 12 to 13,000 dirham. And after that, uh, you're paying approx 975 for the establishment card and 2700 for the labor card. These all are estimates, but uh, it is very close to the actual prices. Well, when we talk about the time frame, generally trade name and initial approval generally takes just one day. 
and the next day you can do the memorandum which is again a one day job uh, then depends how soon you can finalize the office space or the retail space or whichever space you are renting and you get the HRE once you get the HRE within a day you can get your license issued once your license is done establishment card takes approx 4 to 5 working days and labor card also takes approx 4 to 5 working days so if you will see within uh, 2 to 3 weeks you complete it's it, it, it's a good time to complete the full process including your trade name initial approval license establishment card and labor card and then you are ready to go for ahead with the visas uh, sometimes there are different factors like different activities and different kind of approvals uh, that we can discuss when we will we will discuss more and we, uh, we will bring more videos to tell you more about uh, this part of the world and for now uh, thank you for watching this video subscribe us and if you have any uh, inquiries please send us to info info at blackswanbss.com or feel free to call us on the given number over here. Thank you.